What is up my body weight warriors and welcome back to another video and another follow along. Today we're going to be revamping the very popular 20 minute full body flexibility routine with version number three. Let's jump straight into it. Also, if you're wondering what this attempt at a moustache is, it's because it is November. I'm doing November growing a mode save a bro. If you want to donate, there'll be a link in the description down below. So if we're going to start from the neck down like we did in the previous examples, you don't have to be seated on your knees like this for the first step. You can be standing, you can be sitting. It doesn't really matter. I'm just doing it because of camera angles. First things first, we're going to loop the arms behind the back. I'm just going to turn to the side so you can see a bit better. And then we're going to start with the right hand side. We're going to try and pull the arm away from us. I'm going to lean the head away from it. We're not going to try and lean the neck down. We're going to try and look up very, very slightly. So I'm going to be pulling my right arm down, lifting my chest up, and just leaning my head to the side. We're going to hold this one for about 30 seconds. You're going to feel a stretch in the neck, sternoclonomastoid, the scalenes, and it's going to probably go on down into the arm and the chest as well. From here, just some nice deep breaths is all we need to do as we ease our way into this routine. Keep holding a little bit longer. And we're just gonna swap sides. So for this, so I'll swap around so you can see. So you're gonna grab the hand, you're gonna pull it behind the back slightly, pull the shoulder down, lift the chest, Look up and away. I'm going to hold this one just for a short period of time. As always, with all of these stretches, I'm probably going to remind you countless times. Just keep the breath nice, calm, controlled, deep. If you're struggling to, to breathe properly, you're probably pushing the stretch a little bit too hard for this particular routine. Right, so that's the first bit of the neck done. We're then gonna keep the hands behind. We're just gonna reach behind us, gonna pin the shoulder blades back, and we're gonna lift the chest, and we're just gonna try and reach our hands towards the floor. So the main thing here is lifting the chest up, squeezing the shoulder blades together, Staying nice and proud, should feel a stretch probably over the shoulders, over the chest, into the biceps. I'm just gonna hold this one for 30 seconds. If you can try to tuck the chin, you also feel a little bit of a stretch in the neck as well. I come back to the middle. Right, I'm just gonna come onto my toes here. I need a little bit better position. Here we're gonna do some breath extensions. I don't know why I said it that way. We're gonna start, hands on the head. We're gonna exhale, come all the way down into as flexed as you can. And then inhale, and then try to really open the chest. Breathe out, come back into the tight ball. Inhale. I'm just gonna do three of these. Okay. So that's kind of the upper body and the neck warmed up. We're just gonna to come to the side now, or come forward, and we're gonna go into an upward dog position. So again, just getting a bit into extension. You can walk, walk backwards and forth. You can do a little bit of twisting kind of loosen things up a little bit. And then from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift onto our toes. We're gonna push back up into what would be the downward dog position. And then what we can do from here is we're just gonna do some walks. So we're gonna try and lift up one heel, press the heel down, lift up the other. If this is a bit tight for you, just come out of it slightly in terms of where the shoulders are, lift the shoulders up a bit, and focus on really trying to arch the lower back. So we're going to do 10 steps on each side. Right. 
and I come down. Focus a little bit on the hamstring. It's going to focus again on the shoulders. We're going to come into a cat stretch. So we can lift the legs high. Try to press the shoulders down to the ground. We're going to arch the back. Again, we can just breathe. Try to feel like you're really trying to push those shoulders down to the ground by squeezing the shoulder blades back. So we're trying to arch that out. Should feel a good stretch on the lats, especially going into the shoulders. And we're just going to move the legs out a little bit, sink the hips back into a child's pose. Now we can just relax here for a second. Try to get your belly button nice and deep to the ground. Keep those arms overhead. So from here we're gonna come forward, we're just gonna sit down, we're gonna place our right leg in front of us, and we're gonna open that front knee to 90 degrees. So we're in a 90-90 position. From here we're just gonna twist over and we're gonna try and move this left leg back as far as we can. Ideally getting into kind of a pigeon-like position, but again, making sure we keep this front leg at 90 degrees. We're gonna try and bring this our chest directly over that front leg, that front knee, and we're just gonna ease on into it. So from here, we can do a little bit of PNF. What we're gonna try and do when we're in a little bit of a stretch position, we're gonna try and lift the knee up towards our chest as hard as you can. So I'm gonna try and lift this to upwards. Just gonna hold it for five. Keep lifting, keep holding. And then we're gonna try and push this knee down into the ground for five. And then we're gonna alternate between those two. So we're gonna lift. And I'm gonna press into the ground. Lift. And then we're gonna press, last one. So after this last press, we're just gonna try and twist on around a little bit more, lean as far forward as you can, and then we're just gonna hold this stretch for about 20 seconds. During this time, we should have a nice stretch on that glute of this front leg. All right, let's just finish up a little bit longer. We're gonna come up out of that 90-90. We're gonna keep that front leg forward. We're gonna come into a lunge position. So with the lunge position, we're gonna stay up nice. And so we're gonna rest on that front leg, deepest lunge that we can. We're gonna keep the back foot on the toes. And all we're gonna try and do is gonna try and lift the leg and try and straighten it. And then come back down. We're gonna do five of these. So we're gonna try and lift, straighten that leg and come back down. What we're gonna try and think about doing is actually trying to push that heel back behind us, but keep the hips sunk down. We're not gonna come all the way up. We're gonna try and stay as low as possible. So this is the fourth one. And the fifth one, we're just gonna hold for 10 seconds. So lift up. That's it, a few more, two, one, and then come down, relax. Lovely. We're gonna keep the left arm on the ground. Gonna reach behind, grab the foot with the right arm. If this is too intense for you, then that's fine. We can just hold the lunge stretch a little bit longer. We're gonna hold this position, lean on forward. We're gonna try and pull that back leg in. The closer you can get it to your bum, the more intense this stretch is gonna be. We're just gonna hold this one for about 20 seconds. You can perform a little bit of PNF this position. So what we can do is we can try and kick into the hand slightly. So I'm gonna try and kick into the hand and then relax. Kick for five seconds, keep kicking and relax. Kick again and relax. Perfect, so now we're in this position. We're gonna stay here. Try to keep the hands on the ground if you need to. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna try and push the hips back and straighten the leg. Now what we need to do is stay as much over this leg as we can. If this is too intense for you, then you can come out of it a bit. You can get some support 
something where you can hold yourself a little bit higher, but just adjust as is needed for you. So we're gonna come forward into this lunge, push the hips back, pull the hip back, straighten the leg. If you can as well, for extra bonus points, pull the foot back towards you, hold for a few seconds, and then come back. We're gonna do five of these. That's two. Should feel a nice stretch in that hamstring of that front leg. So the last one here, we're just gonna hold for 10 seconds. So you're trying to keep this contact here between the thigh and the stomach as you push the hips back. Try to maintain that contact, go as deep as you can. Just gonna hold this last position for about 20 seconds. Again, if this one isn't particularly comfortable, what you can do is you can grab an object and you can simply sit back on that object. It's kind of the same stretch, but it's just a little bit more of a relaxed position. And again, like if you're up here, that's fine. If you're further down, also fantastic. Keep holding. And then you can come back. And then we're just gonna simply repeat again. But we're gonna go to the opposite side. So I'm gonna turn this way so I can show you. So we're gonna come back into that 90-90 position. That left leg now is out in front, the right leg's back. We're gonna wiggle that right leg back and we're gonna twist that hip as far as we can or as far as we feel comfortable into the front leg. And then from here again, we can do another set of that PNF. So we're gonna try and lift that knee up. Keep lifting, keep lifting. Lift up and press into the ground. alternate back and forth. So we're going to lift. And we're going to press into the ground. Lift. So you're going to try and pull your stomach deeper and then press that knee into the ground. And that's it. Just need to come out of it. Oh. Perfect, so now we're just gonna try and hold this last position. It's that little bit longer. Again, making sure that knee is roughly at 90 degrees. Try not to let it come in too much. That will make the stretch that little bit less. Just gonna keep holding this position. And then we're gonna come on out of this one. We go that further, we're going to stay in that lunge position as we did beforehand on the toes of the back leg. Use support if you need to. Keep those hips low, push the leg out behind you. That's two. Again, we're going to do five of these, hold the last one for 10 seconds. Two more. So lift, really try to squeeze the glute on this back leg, trying to push that leg behind you. Last one, we're just gonna hold for 10. Come back down, same thing again. Place that right hand forward, lean behind you, lift the leg, grab it with the left hand. And we're just gonna pull in again to that nice, more intense stretch over the hip flex from the quad. And then from here, we're gonna try and kick into the hand very, very slightly. So we're gonna try and push the foot away. Kick for five seconds. And we're gonna relax. We're gonna kick for five seconds. And we're gonna relax. We're gonna do one last one and then just hold it for a little bit longer, so kick. Let's relax, we're just gonna hold this one for about 10 seconds again, trying to pull that, that foot towards your bum. Perfect. Same thing here again. You're gonna try and go forward into the lunge, keep that contact between the thigh and your stomach. 
going to push the hips back, straighten the leg, pull the toe towards us. Staying as close as we can to that leg. Forward, do five of these, so pull the hip back. Really make sure that leg's straight. Don't let it bend. If it's bent, straighten it and just come a little bit more out of the stretch. Push the hip back, pull the foot back. Two more here. Last one, we're just gonna hold for 10 seconds. Again, if you want to, you can grab the object and then you can sit back now, sitting back onto that leg. Otherwise, try to hold in this kneeling position and just try to relax into it. You'll notice this leg is shaking a bit for me. So I'm kind of probably pushing it a little bit too hard. That's fine. Right, come back to the center. And we're gonna come into a tailor pose position. So this is, or a butterfly, whichever you wanna call it. I'm gonna grab the feet, we're gonna pull them in nice and close. Uh, the closer it is, the harder it's gonna be. So if it's not really comfortable right in, then just let the legs come out of it. There's no bad in that. So we're gonna come down, hold onto the feet, press the elbows into the legs so we can press the legs down. And then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna try and lift the legs up into our elbows. So I'm gonna try and do this. I'm doing it into my elbows. So lift up, I'm gonna hold for five. And then from here, we're gonna try and squeeze the glutes, pull the knees down for five. And lift up for five. And then we're gonna push down for five. Really try to squeeze those glutes, pull the knees towards the floor. One last one, we're gonna lift up. Lift for five. And then we're gonna push down, really try to pull with those glutes, pull those knees towards the floor. I'm just gonna hold this one. Now, a little bit more of a relaxed position. We can then work on just sitting in the stretch. Again, I'm actively trying to pull my knees down towards the ground, but only about 50% effort. What we can do now, just gonna lift the hips slightly. Move the hips as close as you can to the feet. And then we're gonna slide away. Just gonna do five of these. During this, you're gonna always try to pull the knees down towards the ground. So two more. Perfect. Hips should start feeling like they're getting a little bit looser and we're just gonna sort of take that to the next level a little bit and use it again. So we're gonna come into a squat position. So as deep as you can in your resting squat. From here, what we're gonna try and do, place the hands on the ground and try and lift the hips. Same thing again, try to maintain this contact between the chest and the thighs and extend the legs down into your pipe position. Hold for like three or four seconds. We're gonna try and push and reach as close as we can to the ground. Then we're gonna come back down into our squat. We don't have to come all the way down to the bottom, just as deep as you can whilst maintaining your squat. Press back up. Really try to pull yourself deeper. Try to keep that connection here between the thigh and the stomach. We're gonna do five of these. Press up, make sure those legs are straight. If you have to come out a bit to straighten them, that is fine. Come down, we're gonna do two more. And last one. Just gonna hold this position. Try to actually give yourself a little bit of force this time. We're gonna try and pull with the ankles. Hold this for another five seconds or so. And then all we're gonna do Whilst we're in this position, we're just gonna let the feet and wiggle them out a little bit, kind of to a comfortable distance and what would be a almost pancake position. And then we're just gonna hold this one as well. 
I'm gonna hold onto my feet because otherwise they go sliding out far too far. But you can just kind of relax, press your elbows on the ground, kind of get where is a comfortable position. Should feel with this one, nice stretch in the medial hamstrings, so the pike and the pancake. So pike should have been a little bit more central. This is gonna be more of the inside. Again, try to pull yourself down towards the ground. We're just gonna hold this for another 10 seconds. And if we can do now, we're gonna walk and drop ourselves into straddle. If you can't do that, come out of it and then start by sitting on the ground. Now when we're sitting on the ground, we wanna make sure we can sit up with a nice tall posture. We don't wanna be able to round it. If we are rounded, and again, grab yourself a few cushions, stick them under your hips so you can sit relatively comfortably. It shouldn't be too much of a stretch at this point. So here, all we're gonna do, we're gonna start on the left-hand side. We're gonna look at a side bend. So we're gonna get more of a stretch on our QL and our lower back and obliques. So what we're gonna try and do is we're just gonna try and get our left shoulder down towards our left leg. We can do this a little bit as well by using the right arm to push off the right leg, push us deeper into that stretch. If this is enough of a stretch for you up here, also the hamstring of the front leg, fantastic. If it's not, you can lift the arm over and you can grab and you can pull yourself a little bit deeper into it. When we're in this position, we kind of don't want to be max effort stretch. We want to be a somewhat comfortable stretch. We're just going to take three deep breaths. And each out breath, you're going to feel like you can sink a little bit deeper. And now we're gonna to come to the other side. So come up to the middle, shake it off. We're gonna drop that right shoulder down towards that right leg as well. We're gonna push away with that left arm. And then again, we can take those three deep breaths. You wanna take this up a notch. You know, you can lean over, but I'm just gonna hold it here. So I'm trying to lean on, feel that stretch in the hamstring, feel the stretch in the lower back as well. Each time you breathe out, try to sink a little deeper. that for this one and then all we're going to do is going to come and we're gonna finish a nice wide child's pose so we're going to push those knees out bring the feet in just going to come down and we're just going to relax this one isn't necessarily about the stretch just finding kind of a comfortable position just to you know die and relax in i'm going to hold this for three breaths and but you can continue to hold this as long as you want at the end So that is basically the routine. Some slight iterations from the original routines, but all three or all two, the others will be linked in the description down below if you wanna use those or you wanna use this one. This is a good just kind of general full body flexibility routine, especially looking to open up the hip flexors and the hamstrings. So I should imagine it'll probably be good for a wide range of people and hopefully is pretty adaptable to anyone if you have a couple of cushions lying about. If you did enjoy this follow along, you know what you can do, you can hit that thumbs up button and you can support the channel. If you don't wanna miss out on any more future follow alongs, then you can also hit that subscribe button right next to it as well and join the Bodyweight Warrior Tribe. But that has been it for this week, guys. I'll catch you in the next episode. Have a strong week and peace.